What's up, YouTube? Happy Tuesday. Hopefully, you all are having a really good week so far. We've been cashing in a lot lately. So on Sunday, we made over $1,000 on the Super Bowl. Last night, a little bit over $2,000 profit. So if you're not in the Discord server yet, be sure to join it. It's linked in the description below. I post picks in there every single day. And it's not even just my picks. People in the community post their picks throughout the day, every single day. And other people are cashing on other picks as well. It's a really good community to be in. It's totally open. It's free to join. So I highly advise at least getting in there and joining in on the fun. Now, I'm going to start with prize picks today. I'll take a look at Underdog Fantasy. Um, the tools I'll be using are over on DailyGrindFantasy.com or DGFantasy.com, Daily Grind Fantasy. Um, it is a paid subscription website, so if you are interested in signing up with them, I do have a 25% off code. The code is LayTheHouseRM. Honestly, it pays for itself. It's like $2 a day. It's, it's a really good product, and what it does is it compares the lines on Underdog, Prize Picks, Parlay Play, all these other prop sites to basically every other sports book out there. So I'll filter for NBA, and I'll show you what it looks like for the NBA. There's only six NBA games tonight, but so you can tell here that, like, Brook Lopez uh, over on the Blocks and Steals is 2.5 on prize picks. You're getting about minus 122 odds on this, so if you compare it to, like, DraftKings or, or Caesars or any other sports books here, it'll show you that there is some value on prize picks or on Underdog or on any of these prop sites. So it's a really good uh, site to use. I love the tool. I basically use it every single day. And that's exactly how I'll be making my plays uh, in this video. So I'll be showing you my process on how I come up with these plays, um, kind of what I'm thinking as I'm going through them, and honestly the struggles of trying to get ahead of line movement as well because there are many times where I'm trying to make a play and the lines are moving right in front of me in real time. So let's jump into it. Let's take a look at prize picks to start. I'm going to do a two-pick entry on prize picks. We had a nice day yesterday over there. Um, I hit the Kyrie Irving promo last night. I combined it with Josh Hart over 9.5 points. That cashed pretty easily, so hopefully we could back it up today with another two-pick win over on prize picks. Now, there's a ton of college basketball and hockey today, along with six NBA games, so probably a lot of value to be had out there between all these sports, so we'll probably combine a few things together. So as I'm looking through the list here, Brooke Lopez, uh, that first prop there for the blo blocks and steals, showed up as a decent value, but you're only comparing to two other sports books. I like to choose plays that compare to like all of the other ones, You know, at least four or five, um, sometimes three, depending on the sport, so... That Lopez and the Marner ones at the top are probably some ones that I would generally skip. Uh, but as we scroll down the list here, you see with the De'Aaron Fox uh, over one and a half steals. It's minus 128 on FanDuel, minus 135 on DraftKings, minus 140, minus 137. So you're getting a decent uh, value on this De'Aaron Fox over one and a half steals over on prize picks. So I'm going to start a card with that. Um, we're going to go with Fox over one and a half steals. And this is probably just going to be a two-pick entry on prize picks. Um, I generally try to do like five or six picks on the prize picks because that's the most optimal way to play. But for the purpose of this video, and I promise the community that every day I'll post at least one two-pick entry um, for you guys on prize picks and underdogs. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'll make a two-pick for prize picks, and I'll make a two-pick for underdog, even though it's not the most optimal way to play. But it will rack up some wins for you. So as I scroll through the list here... You see there's some hockey, you see some more basketball. There's Jalen Brown, over 9.5 rebounds and assists. Looks actually pretty good. It's at 9.5 on prize picks. It's at 10.5 on FanDuel or DraftKings, FanDuel. But you see it's juiced a little bit to the over on 9.5 on all the other sports books. Decent play. I'll keep it in my back pocket. Maybe we can find something even better um, as we scroll down. Like the Cunningham rebounds, that's decent. You know, minus 125 on DraftKings or FanDuel. That's not very strong, but... Um, over here, minus 143, minus 130, minus 135. Pretty strong play when it comes to those. Um, Chet Holmgren, this minus 120 square scares me a little bit. Same with the Bradley Beal, minus 122. It seems like uh, FanDuel is not really juicing these odds too much as compared to Underdog today, for the most part. Or they're just way different than the market. So you see, like, Jalen Suggs under the rebounds. They have minus 150 when you have, like, minus 125, minus 129 on some of the other sports books. So... Interesting to see where FanDuel's head is at today. Um, maybe they're just behind, or maybe they're ahead, one or the other. So I think I'm just going to go back up to this uh, Jalen Brown over 9.5 rebounds and assists. I'll add it to the Fox play. Um, so we'll go Brown. Oops, not Brown. So Jalen Brown over 9.5 rebounds and assists. We'll go with more. It's a two-pick you know, two pick power play. I'm just going to go 25 bucks on it. I don't really play a lot in prize picks, but I, I wanted to start just to show you guys some plays over there. And I know it's a very popular sports book, and you guys like to 
like to make plays over there. So I'll try to post more plays for prize picks. I'll place this entry right now, 25 to 175. I will share it to my Discord server. So I basically just copy and paste the link, head to my Discord, and then go into my chat and then paste it right there. And then I'll paste it in the NBA chat as well. So anyone could click that link and they could apply that play as well and they could jump right in on the play. All right, so next let's head over to Underdog Fantasy. Now this is the site where I play my most volume. Like most of my plays are about like $250, $150, $250 on Underdog Fantasy. So I much prefer to play over there as compared to prize picks. However, prize picks, it is Taco Tuesday, so be on the lookout for all of the discounted props throughout the day and take advantage of those as they come. So Underdog Fantasy, let me filter out all the esports. Esports has been hit or miss lately, um, so we'll avoid those for the time being. We'll see. We still have the Jalen Brown over 26.5 points and rebounds. That's a decent play there. It's pretty juiced to the over on some of these sites. My, minus 115 for 27.5 on FanDuel, and even Parlay plays got it up to 27.5. So decent play on the Brown over points and rebounds. I did just have that similar play over on prize picks with the rebounds and assists. Um, but you see, underdogs had a lot more college basketball. I don't know if they were just earlier on the lines or what, but we're just going to combine some college basketball with some NBA plays here and make a three-pick or a four-pick insured entry. So I am going to add that Jalen Brown uh, over 26.5 points and rebounds. Honestly, this line is probably going to move by the time you watch this video. I would take it up to 27, but 27.5, I would not take it. And, uh, and maybe the line's even moved already. Um, nope, it hasn't yet. So 26.5 points and rebounds. Then let's scroll down. Let's maybe find some college plays that we like here. There's a lot of them that are looking pretty good. Um, honestly, like the Shireman, the Alexander, the Domask, those all look like decent plays on the assists and rebounds. You know, Mashburn's okay, not the best. But Blackshear rebounds, that looks really good. So I think that's what I'm going to add to this one. He plays at 11 o'clock tonight, so it's a little bit later tonight. Maybe give us a late night sweat. Uh, but we'll go with the Black Shear over four and a half rebounds. And look at his recent games, you know, four, three, one. He hasn't gotten over four rebounds in his recent games, which will scare away some people. Um, but honestly, I don't even care about the recent stats. Um, I just look at the value in the line and basically like trading it like a stock. Um, you know, if the stock's down, you want to buy it to go up. If the stock's up, you're expecting it to go down. It's just um, you're trying to find the average in a sense. Caleb Martin, points and rebounds on the over, looks actually like a really good play. I think I might add it to this entry if I don't see anything better out here in a top glance. No, it doesn't. So we're going to go with the Caleb Martin, um, over 17.5 points and rebounds. And this will be a three-pick non-insured entry because that is the way you should play over on Underdog Fantasy. The play, you know, you have like a 17% chance of winning these. So you don't expect to win, you know, one out of every, like, every other play. You you can expect to win one out of every five, basically. Uh, if you're winning one out of every five, you're breaking even. And that's really the worst case scenario that you can hope for. Uh, let me go post this in the NBA chat. Post this in the RM's pick channel. And now I've got my plays posted in Discord. Uh, if you want to play an underdog fantasy, but you don't have an account there yet, sign up using the code LayTheHouseRM. And they'll double your first deposit up to $100. And I'm pretty sure they give you a free win as well, so... Highly advise taking advantage of all the sign-up bonuses on all the other prop websites as well. It's basically free money whenever you sign up for these sites. Um, and that's why, like, even if you're not going to play a lot of volume on the site, you should at least sign up and get, take advantage of the sign-up bonuses. So if you're ever looking for any promo codes or any referral codes, uh, reach out to me in Discord. I'll be happy to show you my link, maybe give you guys, like, some sort of promotion because I do have a lot of partnerships with a lot of these uh, books out there. So hopefully I can help you guys out. I will go live later today on TikTok, so if you want to check that out, be sure to go to my page and drop a follow on the TikTok and turn those notifications on because I will do the same thing. Like, I kind of just go through, you know, Daily Grind Fantasy, find some plays for us, and then we make a few plays with the chat. So, like, if the chat's posting some plays, I'll put some things together and we'll ride or die together. It's a really fun time. Um, usually around, like, 4 o'clock Eastern time, I go live on TikTok. So, look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching. Best of luck on your picks tonight, and let's just stay cashing.